Are the 2021 Nets the greatest team in NBA history? With the acquisition of LaMarcus Aldridge, the Nets roster combines for an insane 41 All-Star appearances, which is the most in league history. But with the Lakers adding Drummond and the pack of contenders looking dangerous, stay tuned to see if Brooklyn is the surefire championship favorite this year. In this game, Nets still with work to do! Right before that, quick comment or shout out to Tyler, who says the chemistry between Lonzo and Zion on both ends of the floor, along with Brandon Ingram's versatility, could help the Pelicans go a long way this year. For next vid, shout out, and if you want to see the Community Speaks competition return, leave your take on the question at the end of today's video. I'm sure a lot of fans think these moves from Brooklyn are unfair, while others, like myself, are just ready to see this powerhouse roster in action. The Nets redesigning their roster around Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant all started on January 15th where they moved Jarrett Allen, Karis LeVert, Rodion's Kurooks, and multiple first round picks to receive James Harden. And in about a day, the man lost about 50 pounds and put all the drama from Houston in his rearview mirror and in 31 games with the Nets, the three-time league scoring champion is averaging 26-9 and a league-leading 11 assists per game. But the most impressive part about what James is doing is individually fueling the Nets to the top of the East, even with Durant and Kyrie out for a majority of the games he's played in. The Nets are 24-7 when the beard steps on the floor for them, and James has already set the Nets' franchise record for single-season triple-doubles with 11 of them. After pouring in 44 points to beat the Pistons this past Friday night, according to Malika Andrews of ESPN, James Harden said that he doesn't simply believe he belongs in the Most Valuable Player Award conversation, he should sit atop the list, saying, quote, Do I belong in it? I feel like I'm the MVP. I mean, it's just that simple. I don't want to be speaking individually on myself, I'm just going to leave it at that. There were a lot of questions from fans and media questioning the legitimacy of Harden's scoring records in Houston. A lot of people were wondering if he could contribute to a championship system with his playmaking or if he was all about his stats. And the man Harden has answered all of those questions in nearly every way since his arrival. Nets head coach Steve Nash had this to say about James. He literally can do almost everything there is to do out there and he's been a great leader for us. He can control the game, he's a very smart defender, he's been outstanding as far as keeping his team on track, leading, talking things out, communicating. His passion for the game and willingness to win have been fantastic, end quote. One day after Harden and Kyrie combined for 46 points for Team Duran at the All-Star Game, the Nets front office was busy in the NBA's buyout market and ended up adding even more firepower in Blake Griffin. At first, this signing didn't seem like that big of a deal considering Blake was looking washed up with the Pistons and he hadn't dunked the ball once the entire season. But then, in his first game in bed this happened. Maybe those were BG's only two points in his Nets debut, but along with that shocking dunk, Griffin also displayed that he still has a bit left in the tank defensively. Here, he sticks with Bradley Beal on the perimeter and stuffs the NBA's leading scorer at the rim emphatically. His second game in Brooklyn was against his former team, the Detroit Pistons. Blake also got in a verbal exchange with his former teammates and dropped 17 points off the bench. And this is the fiery, explosive, and motivated Blake Griffin we've all been waiting to see, and it's also why his play with the Pistons before he was traded to the Nets was so disappointing. But with his third NBA team, you can't forget that this is the first time in Griffin's career where he hasn't been the first or second option on a team, so little to no defensive game planning is coming his way. And that's something a lot of people are forgetting with Blake Griffin. They're also forgetting that about LaMarcus Aldridge, the Nets' most recent acquisition. And these two former All-Stars can simply sit back, catch passes from some of the greatest players in the league, and not have to worry about the opposing team's coach locking in to stop them, which will improve their efficiency as well as their confidence. So even though their play overall this year makes them seem washed up, Blake and LaMarcus should provide a stable force around the Nets' big three. Later, you're going to find out if the Nets are surefire title contenders and if they're the greatest team of all time. But first, I have to go more in depth on the most recent Nets signing, 
after he was waived by the Spurs on Thursday, the seven-time All-Star LaMarcus Aldridge is joining the Nets super team. Now in his 15th season, Aldridge is well past his prime, and his playing time and production have dropped off big time this year. But front court depth was a major issue for the Nets after the James Harden trade, and they've often had to make do with a rotating cast of two-way players and guys on 10-day contracts. But the signing of two former All-Stars in the middle changes that. LaMarcus Aldridge gives the Nets shot creators an elite pick and pop presence, as after setting the screen, LA opens up a significant amount of space for ball handlers. Even during a down year, LaMarcus was shooting 36% from three-point range, but now he's going to get tons of wide open looks from out there, with three generationally great players next to him. So you can complain all you want about the unfairness of these signings, I see you considering the Nets already had one of the greatest big threes of all time. But regardless, you have to credit the Nets GM, Sean Marks, who did an outstanding job prepping his super team for battle in the 2021 playoffs. To many people's surprise, chemistry has been the opposite of the problem for this Nets team. As Kyrie Irving came out and said that James Harden was the point guard of the team right off the bat this season, considering egos have been an issue in the past with these two, you have to credit both Kyrie and James for getting it together, of course, but also the Nets' outstanding coaching staff. Steve Nash was one of the most revolutionary offensive guards in modern day history and won the MVP trophy in back-to-back -back years during the mid-2000s. But it's not only Steve that keeps the foundation of this team in check, as the Nets' assistant is Mike D'Antoni. He had his ups and downs in Houston, but this man is top 20 in all-time coaching wins. Then there's the defensive coach Jacques Vaughn, who's had a ton of success in his own right. Jacques won a championship as a player, he was the interim coach for the Nets last year, and he had his own job in Orlando a few years ago. But are the Nets the greatest roster ever assembled, and are they the surefire champs? Technically, they have the most talent on a single team with their combined 40 all-star appearances, but championships determine greatness in this league, and this ridiculous core of players is going to have to execute and bring home their first ring if they're going to be in the greatest all-time team debate. But on paper, with the elite depth of this roster from top to bottom, with other impressive scoring options and two-way players I haven't even mentioned in Joe Harris, DeAndre Jordan, Jeff Green, Bruce Brown, and Timothy Luabu Cabarro, that's what makes this team maybe the most talented ever. The thing is, they're far from surefire 2021 champions because Kevin Durant's been out for a while now, and this team is going to have to develop a championship rhythm like any other would have to. And right now, in terms of developing chemistry and a pristine flow on both ends of the floor, underrated teams like the Utah Jazz and Milwaukee Bucks are ahead of them in that aspect. Plus, the Lakers just added Andre Drummond. They're going to form an insane front court next to LeBron James and Anthony Davis in LA. So you can hype the Nets up as your title favorite, but don't be surprised if you have multiple people arguing back to you that other teams are more equipped. For next video shout out, let me know who your championship favorite is, and are the Nets surefire champs in your opinion? I want to know your take in the comments section. Follow the channel on Instagram at dflowhoops. Have a great day, y'all. This was dflow, and I'll see you next video.